to craft along with me. Uh, I'm Lexi, this is Isabel and these are our new friends made out of big box cartons. So <laughs> we're going to show you today how to make a whale and a jellyfish. Um, I can see somebody's watching already. The last two times I've done this I've not been able to see any comments so if you are there <laughs> can you say hi just so I can see that they're working because it's a real shame when everyone's sending lots of nice comments and I can't actually um, see them so and if, if it does happen again I'm going to have to I don't know I'm going to have to just write to Facebook or something so um, yeah give me a, a thumbs up or a hi can I if I tap on that oh I can write a comment Ooh. oh dear what have I done technology hey well it if you have said something or dropped us a like, I don't think it's worked, which is a real pain. Anyway, we'll crack on and I'll answer later. So, what you will need... And this jellyfish don't mm. look, like, look right. Its tentacles are wonky. Yeah. Okay, so what we'll need are some um, cardboard egg box cartons, some pipe cleaners, some wool, yeah, well. any colour you like, um, a glue stick or PVA glue is good. Um, we also need a little bit of blue tack and a pencil. A pencil. Some scissors. Um, I've got a marker uh, which is quite handy for drawing the face on um, and also I'm going to do some drawing with it so it's easy for you to see what I'm doing. And a piece of blue paper. And if, as a Brucey bonus if you do have any um, some googly eyes, but they're not essential. His oh. eye fell off. <laughs> <laughs> it fell off. And oh, oh, one also, eyed one. <laughs> here's also some paint, low quality crafting. That's all you can expect from me here. <laughs> we'll pop some glue on. Uh, there we go. So, also, I've got paint pens, but you can use normal poster paint as well. So, your first job is to get your egg box. Let me cut. Okay, cut. this is going to do it. <laughs> And you need to cut one, was it one well, egg you cut, space thingy? Yeah, one egg space. So cut it off. Um, each one's going to be different, I've noticed. Um, and they'll come in all different So We're quite lucky that we've got a nice blue one. Sometimes you get grey. Uh, but um, you might need to trim it off, basically. I can't do it. <laughs> no, no, it's quite tricky. Do you want me to do it? You may need an adult. Yeah, this bit might need an adult. So just kind of do some snips. And that's my one. And so you can see you've that's got those not bits. Perfect. So what you need to do is then go round it and just perfect it to your will. Trim off the edges. There we go. And Wait, I, I'm going. I'm. I'm going to go. tell you how to do this one. <laughs> Okay, but we are going to do, because we're doing a bit of painting, we're going to do painting first. So I'm going to cut all of these. And there we go. The paper ones work best. What paper ones? What, apart from, yeah. the, opposed to the uh, plastic ones? Yeah. No, we won't be you know, You can't paint those, they're not very good. And they go all sharp and horrible. Yeah. Yeah, so don't use the plastic ones for this craft. Okay. Be a warning, don't use plastic okay. ones. Okay, yeah, well, we're going to use these. Mm. Okay. I'm being a little bit rough and quick. You can obviously take lots more time. Um, and I should have got a bin. So I'm going to just pop all of my rubbish over there. Hi, if you've just joined us, I can see um, I can see viewer numbers going up, but I can't see any any comments or um, or likes or anything, which is a real shame. I don't know why. This is the third week in a row it's done it, um, and I've logged into my um, Facebook page instead of actual Facebook on my phone this time, so hoping it would change, um, but obviously it hasn't. So I'm really sorry about that. I can't chat to you, but hello and thank you for watching. Um, so once you've cut your Egg boxes and trim them off. This is Austin. If you've look not met him before, small, look out for small fingers. Yeah. Because yes, we've done that bit. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, so next job is to get your, your um, poster paint or we like using these lovely uh, little Brian paint sticks. Yes, so we do. We are already blue for our whale. Is it all right? Um, so we're not going to paint that one, but for our jellyfish, I thought it would be nice to have a pink or a purple. So pick your colour. Are you going to help? Do you want to colour one in? Okay, so obviously if you've got your poster paints, just brush it on. What do we turtle? We're going to do a turtle next week, all being oh. well. So do you want to choose a pink or a purple? Quick, quick, that's it. Mm. Everybody's waiting for us. This one. Oh, that's quite, actually, go, go for a pink, because that was quite dark and it took ages to dry. Have this one. Right, so if I just start everybody off, um, so everyone can see, if you're using the paint sticks, because this is uh, my one's quite textured. It's it's come from a farm shop, um, which was a nice treat. But I think you might find the ones um, that come from a supermarket might be a bit smoother and easier to paint. Um, so do you want to carry on with that one? So put your fingers up there and hold a tiny bit. That's it, and just paint away. So if you don't have um, a blue a blue whale, um, you can do your blue. You can paint your blue whale as well. I'll yeah. put a bit on here for a bit of texture. So we're going to do all the painting first and just set that aside to dry while we do all the rest of the little bits and bobs. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm what are you going to do? A little fishy. A little fishy? Oh, you're not going to do a whale? Oh. Oh, okay. I like a little fishy. So actually mine's quite textured which is quite cool yeah. but if you're using the paint sticks and you want to get even coverage just roll it up a little bit more and give it a Oops. good smush in and kind of can you you're managing yeah you're managing all right normally the paint sticks dry super quick but because it needs a bit more work painting it this way i probably should have got the poster paints out to be fair there we go if you're just joining us, hello, I can see numbers going up again. Um, thank you for watching. Unfortunately, the comments are not working. So if you're saying hello, hello back. And I will um, reply to you personally in the comments later on once we've finished. So hopefully you are crafting along with us. Um, but it's fine if you're just having a watch and you're going to do it later over the weekend and just bookmark the, the video. Um, or if you're watching it later. But, so by now you should have cut out your egg, egg box carton tops, Eggie. or bottoms as they are, and painted them. So set those aside, how are we doing? This is my one. Lovely, so we're all painted. Mine's going to be a holy grail. Okay. And your next job is... For the whale, if you're doing whale. So we're going to do the whale. So we need to draw. I'm going to use paper. I think cardboard's a bit trickier to stick onto the the um, the egg egg cup bit. So I've used paper and it's worked really well. So what you need to do, I'm going to try and do this back to front, is you want two fins. So they're almost like a petal. Or a teardrop. Or a teardrop. So you want, we're, going to, we're doing four of these soon. That's not my fault. Well, because Austin's doing one as well. Yeah, you said you we're doing four. Sorry, four fins. So you want to draw your fins. And then you want almost like a mermaid tail. I'm not going to... I don't need a mermaid tail. Well, for Izzy, she needs a bit of a, a mermaid tail. Do I? Yeah. Do I? Yeah. I thought I was doing a jellyfish. Okay, well, I'm, we're doing a couple of whales and a couple of jellyfish. So for the whale, you need a mermaid tail, okay? No, I'm oh, doing okay. a fishy. Okay, so you need a bit of a mermaid tail as well, so you need your fishy. Guys, for for the fishy, you don't want the... Oh. So there you go. So you want you those, want that bit, and then that we're going to cut like them out. Izzy, would you mind grabbing an extra of scissors, please? Bit that like makes it flat. Yeah, thank you. So, so, once you've drawn your, you need two teardrops and a bit of a mermaid tail. Wait, another pair of scissors? Yes, please. Um, like that. So, per, per whale. And then you need to cut it out. Do you want to cut yours out, Is? We'll cut those out. I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm doing it again. Well, please. Okay. 
All right then, don't. <laughs> What's it? Can you cut that out for us? I thought you were doing both. No, I said I thought I was going to do it then. <clears throat> Okay, so like I said, the reason I'm, I've used paper and not card is because it's a bit more bendy and easier to um, to stick. So cut out your mermaid tail, cut out your fins, cut out your sails. There's no sails. In my world, there is sails. Okay, guys. Um, guys. Guys. Oh, it's a bit of a shame not having the comments because I can't have a little chat with you all and say and say hi and see how you're doing. Um, and you can't tell me if I'm going too fast or too slow. So I'm definitely, I know I said last week I'll try and look into it. I shall, I shall phone a friend and have a little practice run and see why we, if we can work it out. Um, there we go. So, sorry darling, I've got my mermaid tail and I've got... I do see the numbers my that fins. have gone up. Yeah, oh, we can nine. see that bit, which is, which is cool. Yeah, there's nine viewers. Lovely. Lovely. Right, Lovely. so let's see how we're doing. That's still a little bit wet, so we'll keep Eight. going. Right, Austin, thank you. Let's pop that down a minute. Okay, where's the other egg cup, cup gone? There it is. So while we're waiting for a bit more drying to do, um, I've always wanted to do this. This is a real Blue Peter moment for me. Um, so get a ball of uh, blue tack and a pencil. I love glue tack. And um, I'm going to try and show you. If you stick the top of your egg cup on the top of your um, blue tack and then poke it through so that you've got a hole. Okay? There we go. Lovely holes just straight okay. through there. Thank I'm you, not going to do it. Book of okay, yeah. Okay. So you need your, your pipe cleaner and we're going to cut the pipe cleaner in half and then we're going to cut him in half again so cut it into quarters quarters and then you need to make a cross and twist cross twist cross twist yeah so and maybe twist the other ones as well so just twist them Fluff, up twist it okay so you've got a cross like that and then bunch them all up so you've got the bit that you've twisted thank you Austin we don't need to repeat everything darling so once you've um once you've bunched them up poke the bit the end that's twisted into your hole and then what's quite nice is to get your pencil and twist the pipe cleaners round twist and twist and twisty twist there we go and then one more. So it looks like there. a little water spout coming out, which is awesome. Then I've got a little bit of, of glue stick. Do you want to do, do you want to stick yours on? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so put a little bit of glue. I'll just stand up, it's a little bit easier to get closer to you. A bit of glue on the end of your, your fin. Oops! It's alive, it's alive. And you want to stick one on. Doi. Hang on, sorry, I'll give you the glue. Doi. And then you want to stick Doi. another one on. Lovely. So you stick those on. And then um, you want to stick a bit of glue kind of on the end of your mermaid tail. Lots of good kind of rub of glue right there you go that's all yours yay and then you want to come up here on the inside and push it on and then oh, you want to bend it oh. have I missed anything uh, you need your tail don't, don't well, do unless it. you don't want a tail that's fine you, you do it how you want to do it um, so my, my mermaid tail has gone a little bit big. I think my other one was a bit smaller and worked a little bit better. Um, so anyway, you get the idea. So that's that. And then you need to get your marker and do a lovely smiley face. Again, really difficult to do backwards. Upside. 
There we go. Hopefully he's smiling. Oh, not quite. Here we go. Now he's smiling. Lovely. And we need some eyes. So if you've got googly eyes, you're going to put them on. If you've got googly eyes, stick them on. If not, you can draw them on with your pen. We have a tab of plastic. Oh, That's it. Mine there. doesn't look that good then. Do you want me to cut the mermaid tail down a bit? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I think I got a bit overexcited with the length. Yeah. So Should make it cut. smaller than we did. Yeah, don't make it quite so long. I Ooh. hope mine's really good. Oh, it's lovely. But you're so yeah, so we're doing fish, whales, and that's better, yeah. So not long, not as long. Jellyfish. There Jelly. you go. That's much better. But jelly! Oh gosh. We're not quite dry. Oh, you've done it on the pink one. Cool. Okay. Oh, look at the spawning apart. No. <laughs> right, we'll leave that we to side to dry. Stick. I have got some more somewhere. Right. Yeah. Lovely. Perfect. <laughs> so, a couple of lovely whales. So, hopefully, you've managed oh. to follow along with that one. Okay. Oh, so, your next one. <laughs> it's all happening here. Mr. May by me is giving her a good old shout in the garden. Okay, that's not dried so well, unfortunately. So to make your jellyfish, you need to. I'm doing this one then. Okay, to make your jellyfish, you need to get some wool. So I've done four strands for each edge of my jellyfish. How about you do four really strong long ones, and then sellotape them to the top. Instead of cutting lots of times. Well, you can do you can do however many you like. I I, I quite like to do a lot. I thought it looked quite cool. So all lots. you need to do is kind of decide how long you want your tentacles, um, them. and then just get them all the same length. Right. Kind of do that. Now length is going to be there. There we go. Ah. Mr. Me by me. <laughs> Mr. Made by me. His name's Martin, really. Okay, but. so you're going to cut all your loops so you've got the ends. And then this isn't all the same size and length, so we're just going to cut all that. Okay, and so, then... So when I went, I just had to clear, clear up my cuz that I, that I did and cuz... So Austin's been making a racetrack with his... Um, uh, what's Hot it called? Wheels. Hot Wheels track over the swimming pool, over the paddling pool, which is really cool. Which worked? It did work. We managed to get it work. So it went on down from the the, sway, the, the climbing slide. frame and the slide, and then back up again, and then over the paddling pool, and mm -hmm. over some chairs. Um, so it did work. But there uh, lots of cars are now in the paddling pool. Because so then, I did have like these hanging, the leftover bits were hanging from a... Uh, somewhere and they had, and then they all had fell in the water okay so get three or four tentacles at a time and get some sellotape no thank you Austin and put, put um, the wool in the middle of the sellotape I think this has gone really horribly and wrong. then I'll try and show you so you're going to come on in the inside and push so mine, you'll wait till yours is really dry. Mine's a little bit wet on the outside. And okay, I've got my tentacles on. Can I take my eyes on him? Yes, of course you can. Here you go. Do not have him have a medium eyes. You, you might want to do smaller bits than that. That's up to you. Me? Because it's quite woolly. Mum, do you need okay. to glue them on? Um, no, they're, they're double sided, those ones. There's some bigger ones there if you want. Wait, they're is just that sticky. Too big? That's not too big. No, that looks good. Okay, so. Ah, so sticky. So keep, keep sticking them on. And. Whoops. Some more. Right, just hold on a moment. I'm just going to show everyone how to do this and then we'll stick some eyes on. Okay. The eyes are very important. They are very important. Now, I thought it'd be really cool, a bit like we did with the um, with the whale, because the whale looks quite cute just sat on, um, on the table. But I thought it was really nice to actually make a hole 
into the top of the the um, jellyfish and to make a loop so to make a loop I've just cut a bit of, of the pipe cleaner and then stick it into your hole oops and then stick it into the hole and then you can hang him somewhere because he looks so cool and um, if any of your like mine if any of your sellotape comes over the edge just trim it off it's not a very big space to work so put, pop the pipe cleaner in and then you're going to have them to have massive see. massive eyes yeah put it through and then just give it a bend at the end so it yeah. doesn't just bend it at the end so it doesn't um, fall back out again. That did I thought it was well. such a shame for him not to be hanging around. There we go. This but, does not work. Oh dear. Well, I will come and help you in a moment. That's the it joy. Is. That looks alright to me. What's wrong with that? I can't pick a hole in the top. Uh, yeah, I should have said we'd poke a hole in the beginning. Um, I meant to say about that. So let's see. Let's get some googly eyes on it. Or I could draw mine. I'm going to draw mine. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm going to draw my eyes and a big smiley face. So there we go. Yeah, you got one. And um, I was thinking, if you wanted to, um, these We're are called mine. We're mine. these are called dioramas. So if you get a shoebox, um, I'm just going to tip. So these are called dioramas, I think. Um, so we've got an old, well, a small box, and um, we've decorated it with tissue paper, colour paper, um, random bits from the water balloons. But what you could do is pop your little friend in there and hang this little friend in here. So uh, that's pretty cool. So that's a little added bonus project if you would like to do that. And if you have some clay, you can make these. Yeah, so you that you were lucky enough to get a lovely present, weren't you? Okay, so you need some help with your eyes, or are they? Good. You're good. Oh, your tentacles. I think it looks good. You're going to draw them on? No. No. Okay. Okay. Would you like me to put them on? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did you? Did they not stick? I think it's because the paint's still in there. I didn't try bit. anything. You didn't try. Okay. Right, let's stick these on just so we're all finished up. So if you've got any questions or comments, just um, do pop them in and I will answer them later on. Can you put this one on? I can indeed. Um, and um, I was thinking maybe next week, if you're up for it, I would show you how to make some egg carton uh, turtles and um, octopus as well. So not using wool, we could uh, do it in a different way. So if you're up for that, uh, let me know in the comments and we'll do that next week. Have a little bit of a, a theme and then perhaps we can think of some other animals. Stay in to watch, the, to watch this playing thing. There we because go. Because I got this new fit, this new toy and it, oh. it comes with a boat and I'm going to pretend that they're going to be fishing. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, we could put that into the, uh, into the play thing. Okay, so put your put your mates up so everyone can see your stern. How hold him in? Hold him in. There we go. So thank you so much for crafting along with us. I hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, I would it. love, love, love to see, or we would love to see your whales and no, jellyfish. No, no, no. No, no, if no. you, no, no, no. no, no thank you. Mm. If um, would love to see your whales and jellyfish. Uh, so if you make some, uh, please mm, post mm, a photo mm, in the comments. Uh, so that we can see and um, if you make something else if you've got your, your the ideas are flowing let us know what else you can make um maybe you have a sea theme or maybe not you get it so flowing like the sea <laughs> good, uh -huh. one. good one so thank you for watching and we will see you very very soon bye thank bye. you bye bye, bye. bye.